the Stations of the Cross, based on the devotion to Divine Mercy of St. Faustina Kowalska. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Je Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Merciful Jesus, my Master, I desire to follow you in fidelity and imitate you each day with more perfection. For this reason I beg you that through the meditation of your passion I may receive the grace of understanding each day with more perfection the mysteries of the spiritual life. Mary, Mother of Mercy, always faithful to Christ, guide me through the steps of the sorrowful passion of your Son and grant me the necessary graces so that this way of the cross may be fruitful in my heart. May be fruitful in my heart. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. Jesus says, I myself first drank this cup of undeserved suffering for love of you. When I was before Herod, I obtained a grace for you, that you would be able to rise above human scorn and follow faithfully in my footsteps. Jesus, we are sensitive to words and quickly want to answer back without taking any regard to speak. A silent soul is strong. No adversities will harm it if it perseveres in silence. The silent soul is capable of attaining the closest union with God. Merciful Jesus, help me to accept each human judgment. Do not ever allow me to judge you when judging my neighbor. Help me to judge you when judging my neighbor. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus tells us, Do not be afraid of suffering. I am with you. The more you will come to love suffering, the purer lo your love for me will be. Me will be. O Jesus, I thank you for the little daily crosses for opposition to my endeavors, for the hardships of communal life, for the misinterpretations of my intentions, for humiliations at the hands of others, for the harsh way in which we are treated, for false suspicions, for poor health and loss of denial, for dying to myself, for lack of recognition in everything, for the upsetting of all my plans. Merciful Jesus, teach me to appreciate the difficulties of life, sickness, each suffering, and with love, take up my daily cross. Eternal, Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, 
soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your... Jesus tells us, Involuntary offenses of souls do not hinder my love for them or prevent me from uniting myself with them. But voluntary offenses obstruct my graces, and I cannot lavish my gifts on such souls. O my souls, O my Jesus, how prone I am to evil, and this forces me to be constantly vigilant. But I do not lose heart. I trust God's grace which abounds in the worst misery. Merciful Lord, keep me from any infidelity, even the smallest one, smallest one but voluntary and consent. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus tells us, Although all the work that came into being by my will are exposed to great sufferings, consider whether any of them has been subject to greater difficulty than the work which is directly mine, the work of redemption. You should not worry too much about adversities. I saw the Blessed Mother. She came close to me and said these words, Be courageous. Do not fear apparent obstacles, but fix your gaze upon the passion of my Son, and in this way you will be victorious. Mary, Mother of Mercy, be always with me, especially in suffering, in the same way that you were present in your Son's way of the cross. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In the fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus tells us, I permit these adversities in order to increase his merit. I do not reward for good results, but for the patience and hardship undergone for my sake. O my Jesus, you do not give a reward for the successful performance of a work, but for the goodwill and the labor undertaken. Therefore, I am completely at peace, even if all my I am completely at peace, even if all my undertakings and efforts should be thwarted, or should come to naught. If I do all that is in my power, the rest is not my business. Jesus, that each thought, each word, each activity, may be done only for love of you. Jesus. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We, ad we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus tells us, Know that whatever good you do for any soul, I accept it as if you had done it to me. Kindness itself, so that I might be called a daughter of the Heavenly Father. Great love can change small things into great ones, and it is only love which lends value to our actions. Lord Jesus, my Master, make my eyes, my hands, my mouth, my heart, merciful, heart, merciful. Transform me into your mercy. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus tells us, The cause of your falls is that you rely too much on yourself and too little on me. You must know that on me, you must know that on your own you can do nothing. You are not even capable of receiving my graces without my help. Jesus, do not leave me alone. You know, Lord, how weak I am. I am an abyss of wretchedness. I am nothingness itself. What will be so strange if you leave me alone and I fall? So you, Jesus, must stand by me constantly, like a mother by a helpless child, and even more so. May I lean on your grace, Lord, so that I may not fall continuously on the same errors. And if I fall, help me to rise and glorify your mercy. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus tells us, Oh, how pleasing to me is a living faith. I desire that you would all have more faith at the present time. I fervently beg the Lord to strengthen my faith so that in my drab everyday life I will not be guided by human, de not be guided by human de depositions, but by those of the Spirit. Oh, how everything drags man towards the earth. But lively faith maintains the soul in the highest regions and assigns self-love its proper place, that is to say, the lowest one. Merciful Lord, baptism and the grace of faith, I call you again. Lord, I believe, increase my faith. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The Ninth Station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus tells us, Know that the greatest obstacle to holiness are discouragement and an exaggerated... This will deprive you of the ability to practice virtue. I am always willing to forgive you. Every time you ask for it, you glorify my mercy. O oh my Jesus, in spite of your graces, I see and feel all my misery. I begin my day with a battle and end it with a battle. As soon as I conquer one, end it with a battle. 
As soon as I conquer one obstacle, ten more appear to take its place. But I am not worried, because I know that this is the time of struggle, not peace. Merciful Lord, I give you everything that is my exclusive property, that is, sin and human frailty. I beg you that my misery may be drowned in your unfathomable mercy. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was suddenly standing before me, stripped of his clothes, his body completely covered with wounds, his eyes flooded with tears and blood figured and covered with spittle. The Lord then said to me, The bride must resemble her betrothed. I understood these words to the very depths. There is no room for doubt here. My likeness to Jesus must be through suffering and humility. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, transform my heart according to your heart. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus tells us, My people, have great love for those who cause you suffering. Do good to those who hate you. O my Jesus, you know what efforts are needed to live sincerely and unaffectedly with those from whom our nature flees, or with those who, deliberately or not, have made us suffer. Humanly speaking, this is impossible at such times more than others. I tried to discover the Lord Jesus in such a person, the Lord Jesus in such a person, and for this same Jesus, I do everything for such a people. O purest love, reign in all your plenitude in my heart and allow me to love more than what human measure allows me to do. body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus tells us, All this is for the salvation of souls. Reflect, my daughter, about what you do for their salvation. Then I saw Je the Lord Jesus nailed to the cross, when he had hung on it for a while, I saw a multitude of souls crucified like him. The second multitude were not nailed to their crosses, but they were holding them firmly in their hands. The third were neither nailed to their crosses nor holding them firmly in their hands, but were dragging their crosses behind them and were discontent. Jesus then said, Do you see these souls? Jesus then said, Do you see these souls? Those who are like me in the pain and contempt they suffer will be like me also in glory. Those who resemble me less in pain and contempt will also bear less resemblance to me in glory. Jesus, my Savior, hide me in the depths of your, in the depths of your heart 
so that nourished by your grace, I may be able to be like you in the love for the cross and in the participation of your glory. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The thirteenth station. Jesus is laid in Mary's arms. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus tells us, Most dear to me is the soul that strongly believes in my good and has complete trust in me. I heap my confidence upon it and give it all it asks. I come to your mercy, compassionate God. Only you are goodness itself. Although my misery is great and my offenses are many, I trust in your mercy, because you are the God of mercy. And for Oriel, it has never been heard of, nor do heaven or earth remember that a soul trusting in your mercy has been disappointed. Jesus, multiply in me each day the trust in your mercy, so that always and everywhere I may be a witness to your goodness and infinite love. An infinite love. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus tells us, You are not yet in your homeland, so go fortified by my grace, and fight for my kingdom in human souls. Fight as a king's child would. And rem remember that the days of your exile will pass quickly, and that the days of your exile will pass quickly, and with them the possibility of earning merits for heaven. I expect from you a great number of souls who will glorify my mercy for all eternity. Every soul you have entrusted to me, Jesus, I will try to aid with prayer and sacrifice so that your grace can work in them for care. Merciful Lord, I beg you that not even one of the souls which you have entrusted to me may be lost. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. itself. My Jesus, my only hope, I am grateful for this great book you have opened before the eyes of my soul. This great book is your passion. You have confronted out of love for me. From this book I have learned how to love God and souls. In souls, Inexhaustible treasures are stored in it. O oh, Jesus, how few souls understand you in your martyrdom of love. Happy the soul that has understood the love from the heart of Jesus. And we pray for the intentions and well-being of Pope Francis, our Holy Father.
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning. It